What a magnamazing day the Lord has made. Let's rejoice and be glad in it. My name is Leo Williams, and today is the Sabbath, 5-4-2024. And as I was doing my evening and morning devotion, what came to me was Christian training. 2 Timothy 2, 3-7 through says, Endure suffering along with me as a good soldier of Christ Jesus. Soldiers don't get tied up in the affairs of civilian life, for then they cannot please the officer who enlisted them. And athletes cannot win the prize unless they follow the rules. And hardworking farmers should be first to enjoy the fruit of their labor. Think about what I'm saying. The Lord will help you understand all these things. Christian training. See, a good amount of training is required for athletic activities, finishing grade school, graduating college, and obtaining a degree in a trade school such as automotive, plumbing, HVAC, culinary, and or real estate. See, Christian training is no different. They all require commitment, time, energy, dedication, continuing education, and practice, as well as a vision for where you want to go and a coach or a counselor to guide you to stay on track. Christian training takes obedience and commitment to God, whom we cannot see while the other things that you do, you see a instructor or a supervisor. See, through our obedience, faith, and commitment in our Christian training while following Jesus, we find the Holy Spirit who drives us to play by God's standards and rules. Christian training. I leave you with this. 1 Corinthians 9, 24 through 27 says, Don't you realize that in a race, everyone runs, but only one person gets the prize. So run to win. All athletes are disciplined in their training. They do it to win a prize that will fade away, but we do it for an eternal prize. So I run with purpose in every step. I am not just shadow boxing. I discipline my body like an athlete, training it to do what it should. Otherwise, I fear that after preaching to others, I myself might be disqualified. See, we must train ourselves to run the race of life through reading the word of God, prayer and supplication, meditation and fasting. See, our focus must remain on Jesus to help us not to get off track with several detours. See, when we continually Focus on and follow Jesus, our Savior, leader, teacher, mentor. We are prepared to see God, our Father in heaven, which is the eternal prize at the end of our Christian training. Philippians 3, 13 through 14 says, No, dear brothers and sisters, I have not achieved it, but I focus on this one thing, forgetting the past and looking forward to what lies ahead. I press on to reach the end of the race and receive the heavenly prize for which God through Christ Jesus is calling us. See, we have all done things that we are ashamed of and we live in tension of what we have been through and what we hope to become. Jesus died on the cross for our sins so that we could leave our past, guilt, shame, and failures wherever they occurred and look forward to what God has promised us and what the Holy Spirit will help us become as the greatest life coach to ever live. Focus all your energy on crossing the finish line and winning your individual race of eternal life in heaven. Strengthen yourself daily in your devotion, reading life's book of instruction, the Bible, then applying what you have read to your daily living of and for your Christian training. 2 Timothy 4, 7 through 10 says, I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race and I have remained faithful. And now the prize awaits me, the crown of righteousness, which the Lord 
the righteous judge will give me on the day of his return. And the prize is not just for me, but for all who eagerly look forward to his appearing. Timothy, please come as soon as you can. Demas has deserted me because he loves the things of this life and has gone through has gone to Thessal Thessalonica. Crescens has gone to Galita and Titus has gone to Damata. See, just as we repeat exercises to tone our bodies, we must also continually repeat and go through spiritual exercises and tests to be spiritually fit. See, the spiritual exercises and tests help us grow in our faith and develop character. And we understand that we lose people and things along the way. We grow as we grow closer to God through Jesus, obeying all of his decrees, commandments, and regulations. See, Jesus said in John 14, 15, if you love me, you will obey my commandments. So when we grow closer to God through Jesus, we please him and attract others to the kingdom who see us overcome the fight against evil forces of temptation. So stay committed in your fight, in the fight of your life and preserve to the end. God promises rest, salvation and a crown, but we must complete our individual Christian training. Come to Jesus today. Acts 3, 19 through 20 says, Now repent of your sins and turn to God so that your sins may be wiped away. Then times of refreshment will come from the presence of the Lord and he will again send Jesus your appointed Messiah. Heavenly Father, I humbly come before you, giving you thanks, love, and appreciation for taking the time to give us your heart and spirit to know you through Jesus as our Christian life coach. Thank you for teaching us through training and instruction that we have to give up our own desires and pleasures and be fully committed to your training program if we want to be successful and, and achieve our goal of eternal life in heaven. Lord, I pray that everyone under the sound of my voice understand Christian training is a choice and there is no gain without pain. And the Christian training programs takes total submission to Jesus with commitment, obedience, and sacrifice and that you will supply all of our needs along the way but we must understand that cheat days during christian training only set us back and disappoint you now may the grace of the lord jesus christ the love of god and the fellowship of the holy spirit be with you all amen Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Have a magnum amazing day and leave a legacy doing legendary things as we strive to successfully complete our Christian training. Our purpose is your blessing. God bless.